welcome to the Python series about big data technologies, uh, where we can help you choose the right technology for your projects. One of the family of technologies most often associated with big data these days is Hadoop and Hadoop-based uh, uh, tools and Hadoop ecosystem. Uh, in terms of uh, number of vendors and technologies available in Hadoop, uh, in, uh, Hadoop technologies, uh, we can distinguish few, but they all sort of based on this uh, foundation Hadoop uh, blocks, which basically give you the uh, Hadoop distributed file system, HDFS, and then MapReduce. But that's not the whole Hadoop. Normally what people think when they start using Hadoop is that they're basically using m a variety of components and technologies, whether it's open source or commercial tools. Uh, the most uh, probably known and the oldest uh, distribution of Hadoop is Cloudera with a CDH distribution. Now, when you deploy uh, multiple Hadoop tools, it's uh, often easier to uh, take one of the distributions available rather than just Apache Hadoop and then integrate or deploy in addition to it all other tools you need to use like Hive, Peak, Scoop, and etc. So instead, you would choose to deploy one of the distributions usually, and each of them also have some of the tools which help you manage the Hadoop cluster and Hadoop uh, technologies more efficiently. As I already mentioned, Cloudera is probably the oldest uh, uh, on the market. They are the most developed and have uh, most market penetration. So they are, most of their tools, or pretty much all of their tools are open source, that they are contribute to the community. Uh, even their recent releases of Cloudera Impala or Cloudera Search, those are the open source components. They do have some of the proprietary, uh, proprietary tools, specifically their enterprise manager, which helps companies manage Hadoop at scale and very efficiently. The MapR is another uh, a player in the area, and they are, um, unlike uh, Cloudera, their platform is actually proprietary. They're actually not based on Apache Hadoop itself. Uh, but they do implement the API, which is exactly the same that Apache Hadoop supports. So uh, instead of uh, Hadoop distributed file system, they have map RFS, which is their own file system, very similar to HDFS, but implemented slightly different. It's also actually written in C rather than uh, Java. Uh, and uh, they also have their own uh, management framework as well. So they actually not open source platform, but they often integrate open source tools like Hive, for example, HBase and uh, Pig to be uh, able to run those on their platform. Hortonworks is a more recent uh, uh, player. They are basically a spin-off from Yahoo. So Yahoo, instead of maintaining their own uh, Hadoop infrastructure in-house, basically spin it off into Hortonworks as an independent company. So Hortonworks, everything they do is always open source, completely open, um, unlike MapR, which is pretty much proprietary software, or Cloudera, which is uh, often start developing proprietary, but often releasing the tools back in the community as open source projects. Uh, so Hortonworks from the very beginning sort of relying on the community ecosystem and does everything in the open source. So those three probably the most frequently named. As I said, you can just take Apache Hadoop projects and uh, uh, deploy them individually, but it takes much more time. Uh, one of the recent players on the market is Intel, which is uh, sort of a recent entrant. They come up with their own Hadoop distribution, which uh, uh, was somewhat surprising to many, uh, to many but uh, I think the, their uh, reason they're trying to get out with their own Hadoop distribution is that they're trying to optimize Hadoop uh, tools and Hadoop platform for their Intel uh, CPUs. So that a majority of uh, Hadoop uh, customers are choosing to use Intel platform rather than let's say AMD or any potentially other uh, because Hadoop just runs more efficiently, faster and so on on it. So uh, I believe they would be broadly making available optimizations they make into their own distribution to sort of a broader market because their target is really to make uh, Hadoop run on their platform. So that's a quick introduction of the Hadoop uh, ecosystem and the uh, vendors in the Hadoop space. Mm -hmm.